And to be able to glow during in the in the in the in the middle of breast cancer, I took pictures. I had people take pictures that I put in the book of what you can look like in the middle of breast cancer treatment. I was originally diagnosed at stage two in invasive ductal carcinoma, and in the middle of my treatment, halfway through, I am my face is glow. I thought I was in really good health, organic, non gluten, non alcohol diet, you know, name it. But man, detoxing. What that does, it's the best cosmetic in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hundred um, percent. I just shared my detox protocol with a friend yesterday. He's like, "Hey, do you know anything about heavy metals?" I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> researching heavy metals and detoxing and sharing that for like 15 years with people." And so I sent in some some info yesterday. I've got like a daily detox protocol that I recommend that kind of hits heavy metals fungus, parasites, candida, et cetera, just something you can do morning, evening, each day, to keep it simple. But detox is critical with how many toxins we're exposed to today. And I want to go back. I want to sh share a little, since we glossed over that story, because I think, I mean, that story touched me in such a profound way as well. The, the story that I shared in our documentary series, The Missing Link that you're talking about, of the woman who she was... Um, she, I don't remember what stage she was. I think she was like stage three or stage four. She had a pretty big uh, breast cancer tumor. Very, and But she was doing everything natural. She was following the holistic protocols. She was, tumor basically had stopped growing. And it was for quite a while. She had changed her diet and she was doing emotional healing and she was doing a whole bunch of a holistic approach. And, and the tumor stopped growing, but she was told by, it was, I think it was a family member or somebody had convinced her and said, look, that's, it's going to kill you. You have to get that out of you now. Even though she'd been doing this protocol, following her integrative doctor's guidance, it didn't, she didn't have many symptoms from it. It wasn't impeding in her life in any way. It wasn't, it was just the fear. It was just the fear of uh, someone in your ear. And this is something people can take a lot away from is, we have to learn how to differentiate between somebody else's fear projecting on us and what our own intuition is telling us. And her intuition told her, go holistic, go natural. That was her choice. And, and results, if you stop the progression of a tumor, that's results. It's not growing anymore. Like, that's amazing. That, that alone should tell you, hey, what I'm doing is working. But someone's in her ear putting all this fear in her. So she, so she goes in and ends up getting... I think it was so large. I don't even think, I don't, not sure if it was just a lumpectomy, but actually, actually had her breast completely removed. That's what it was. She had her breast removed um, because it was, uh, I believe, metastasized. I think it was like, I think it was either stage three or stage four. And then when they looked and opened up the tumor, it was all dead. Uh, the, the tumor was completely dead. The body was um, just processing those dead cells. And that can take a long time. That can take a long time for your body to get rid of that. Well, now here she is. She has no more breasts. Her breast is gone. She can't do anything about that, right? Like you can't put a breast back on once it's gone. And to me, that was so eye-opening and so shocking. It's like, sometimes you got to trust your intuition. Sometimes you got to trust what you feel is the right thing to do and just shut out all the outside noise of other people's fears projecting onto you. That certainly was the case. I mean, if she would have, and I talked about this with the doctor who was treating her and, and he agreed that if she would have just kept doing what she was doing and let her body process that, that tissue on its own in months, maybe a couple of years, you don't know the time length, but most likely the body would have removed all those dead cells itself. That tumor would have completely dissolved and yeah. the body would have taken care of it and she would have never had to remove her breast. But that's the power of fear. Thank you for listening to this short clip from the Nathan Crane podcast. Please share this on social media and to listen to the full podcast, visit NathanCrane.com.